welcome to Seth Sports. I'm your host, Adoxy Kalyan. Please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Whiteout is an exciting event here at the secondary school. Let's go off to reporter Lucine Chamichan to learn the history behind this event. Whether you enjoy wrestling or not, Whiteout is an event well attended by the Manhasset community. Started by coach Stefan Sayer in 2013, this event has become a sports classic at Manhasset Secondary School. Students gather in the high school gym and pack the bleachers to cheer on the varsity wrestling team. We had the chance to talk to coach Sayer and coach Ardito about this bustling event. So the Whiteout is an event that we started in 2013. I mean, it's something that has grown into a really big thing in the, in the community and, and it means a lot to our program. Sayer's coaching career here at Manhasset began in 2011 with the program at an all-time low with 12 wrestlers. Sayer's goal is to create a craze around wrestling and establish a large community around the sport at Manhasset. To make this happen, the idea of a whiteout, specifically Penn State's whiteout, sparked a thought. I wanted to build excitement around the program and uh, just show kids that, you know, wrestling could be fun, wrestling could be cool. So the idea was to create this event, uh, get students there to see wrestling, and hopefully that will spread throughout the school, throughout the community that, okay, wrestling's a real sport. The inaugural event was in 2013, but the match wasn't well attended, so Sayer had to turn towards a new approach. We started inviting alumni, which really helps, and each year that passes, our alumni network grows, uh, our alumni parents, that gets bigger, um, so it's really just kind of just getting bigger and bigger. Sayer wanted to create a day for the alumni to be celebrated at a school that values sports to such a high degree, and he made that happen. Coach Ardito, a Manhasset wrestling alumnus and now a middle school wrestling coach at the secondary school, added that the event has really allowed the wrestling program to flourish while also allowing him to reconnect with his teammates. Well, it's cool to be able to see the fellow wrestlers that I wrestled with at that event and really brings us all out and you know we get to celebrate together Manhasset wrestling. I think they enjoy you know, the excitement and the fanfare and everything that the Whiteout has to offer. Wrestling's really hard, and to, to have one event where our wrestlers look forward to, that's really a fun event, I think it's important. Um, so it's it's really involved into something that's really, like, I can't even put into words anymore from where it started in 2013. It's something that every year the wrestlers look forward to, the Manhasset community looks forward to, and really the community as a whole um, at Manhasset looks forward to. Everyone that has wrestled for the last 10 years since we started it. I think it's, it's special to them, and I think it's a good way to uh, bring everyone back for one day, one night to Manhasset uh, to celebrate wrestling and to watch wrestling. Thanks to the effort of the team and the organizers, wrestling has distinguished itself in the Manhasset community, and for the 11th time in its history, the event had the greatest turnout. Reporting from Set Sports, this is Lucy Samesian. I now want to welcome 8th grade social studies teacher and varsity boys lacrosse coach, Mr. Armstrong. Thank you, Mr. Armstrong, for coming on the show. You got it. Thanks for having me. So everyone wants to learn a little bit more about what to expect this lacrosse season. What are you guys working on? Um, we're, we're seven games into the season right now, so you know we're still working through different wrinkles in our offense and our defense, trying to solidify our, our players and our personnel on both sides of the ball. So we've been kind of mixing and matching guys all season just to figure out which group's got the best chemistry. Coaching in general, kind of figuring out you know where you're at when you start, and hopefully you're able to look back and see a tremendous amount of growth throughout the course of the season. So right now, we've taken some steps in the right direction in our first couple of games here, but we've had some setbacks that we need to address, both individually and as, and as a group. For myself, I'm looking most forward to how the, the team responds to some of the challenges we faced early on with some of our out-of-conference opponents, and, and I think they're a pretty resilient group. So you know the task is, is a tall one, but I'm, I'm hopefully going to be looking back saying I'm glad at the way we responded to those early season uh, challenges. So. Sounds good. Well, we here at Set Sports are excited to see you guys get those wins, and I'm sure the community is as well. Thank you for coming on the show. You got it. Thanks for having me. That's all we have for today. Once again, I'm your host, Araxi Kalyan, and as always, roll set. <laughs>